I've been loving watching all of you guys respond to these questions as your own characters. I have been keeping a playlist of response videos, and I would encourage you to check some of them out and show them some love in the comments. Wait a minute. I have a character. I can talk over the video and respond. You know what? I'm going to do that. Starting with this one. Roleplay begins. So. Roleplay begins. Uh, before I start answering these questions, I feel like I should tell you about my character. Just the basics. Nothing too important. So my character... My main character I've been playing for the past literally 15 years. I first made in an X-Crawl game. And um, if you're not familiar with X-Crawl, picture D&D &D game show, um, near future type uh, stuff. Um, I forget if it's more cyberpunk or post-apocalyptic or uh, it's not really a fully apocalyptic it's i don't know um besides the point that was where i first made the character um i have a uh, reference sheet for my character that includes my pathfinder number as part of the reference sheet my character is a half orc monk because i uh, was trying to come up with an interesting character and i was like you know i never really played monk before and of all the races, I figured half orc was uh, really the, the least expected type of monk you would encounter because because they um, of their general lack of control. And I figured, you know, that would make for an interesting um, character to try playing as. And it kind of stuck. I've been playing it for the past 15 years. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. Uh, I uh, ended up uh, finding a favorite tradition. I came up with a homebrew tradition. Uh, lots of other little nitpicky stuff. Besides the point, <clears throat> the main thing is my character's... Um, general background and drive is half orc and um his behavior style is monk and when i respond to these videos since that's my main character for most of my role-playing uh career i guess that's who i'm going to be responding to these videos as and with over three minutes of exposition. Um, yeah, let's just uh, launch into it. So, um, roleplay begins. Yeah, let's go! This is longest shift. They should have blown horn by now, yes? Don't you think? Uh, yeah. Maybe he fell asleep. I know it does not matter to you. You are stuck here. But I want to go home and eat. Maybe I want to be here even less than you. Yeah, I believe it. Well, probably not. I am Nekrasha. Ah, uh, yes. Shekels. Those do not look very comfortable. Correct. What is your name? I am Gerdak. I know. You do not want to talk to me. I am keeping you here. I understand. Just doing your job. I have idea. I take shackles off. You talk to me. Yes? I am uh, so bored. Okay. This is not dream job. Lots of sitting around. And sometimes captives spit at me. Ugh. 
Tell me, why are you here? Did you make trouble? Nope. I literally did not make any trouble at all. I follow the law, damn it. I must have been set up. There is no shame in making trouble. I like a little trouble. Is this first time behind bars for you? No. Nah. Or is this something you have done before? I was brought up behind bars. My father had my mother in prison, never let her out. So. And how is experience here? You have been here a few days, yes? I think the rogue in my party set me up. And I think I have some vengeance for him. I did promise him I would exact it on him. I know, it is prison. It cannot be good experience. How is food? I wonder if they feed you same thing they feed me. Not very good. Yep, that wasn't very good either. Probably the same thing. Hey, as long as it doesn't make me sick. Am I right? Does it bother you to sleep on the floor? How is your back? Uh, back's alright. It's, uh firm floor, it's flat, really all it can be asked for of a floor, so, not bad. At least you have a little window for air. Cells without window, they smell very bad, very bad. What is worst part, you think, so far? out I gotta convince someone to let me out maybe you could let me out hmm yes that is not good how will you get out then would you make escape or try to prove you are not guilty of crime Oh, um, prove my innocence. That'd be much easier. Although, uh, this area does not seem to be the most, uh, law-abiding area, so proving my innocence would be difficult. Of course. Why would you tell me this? I will not tell. No one listens to me anyway. If you do have trial, what will you tell them? How are you defending yourself? Um, I gotta try to figure out um, if I have someone that can vouch for my alibi for when this happened. And I gotta... If there's nobody, I just gotta be uh, honest. I didn't do it. Do you think you would be good at this? Do people believe you when you tell them things? Generally. Not always, though. They, they usually believe me more when I tell the truth because I'm terrible at lying, but... Uh, yeah, they generally do believe me. I believe you. I think you are very persuasive, but I would not be judging you. Really though, do you make crimes sometimes? No. Not if I can help it. I usually follow the letter of the law, whether for good or for bad. If 
I follow the law, that is the most important thing. I make crimes. I am not ashamed to say it. I do what I must do. Even I once killed someone. But don't worry, he deserved it. What is worst crime you have made? Um, I guess running away. When I was a not so small child, I ran away from where I grew up because I was sick of my father always losing control, um, beating me up, beating my f mother up, just losing control. So one day, just ran. And I didn't look back. I'd been mentally preparing for that day for years. What drives you to make these crimes, do you think? After that one? Nothing. I stick to the law. That one, it was a crime of survival. After that, I can survive. It's nice to live, but it is enough to survive. For me, it is rage. I have much anger inside about everything. Sometimes it simply comes out of me. But also, lots of things are against law. So many things. I wonder who makes law and why? Not every time does against law mean wrong to do. Would you agree? No, no. I believe the law should be followed to the letter, whether for good or for bad. <sighs> Maybe you never get out of here. Maybe you die here, do you think? I hope it not. is possible. Some die. The sick ones, mostly. If you died here, who would miss you? My party. Um, most of my party, not everybody. Um, I would miss you, a little bit. You're a good talking partner. You are probably in the middle of doing things when you come here, yes? Important things. What would, what would not be finished if you died here? Um, my self-study and introspection. I'm trying to improve myself. Be the best me that I can be. Unfinished business. They call it this, no? If you are ghost. If you become ghost, who do you haunt? Um, the jackass has set me up. Um, then again, you're keeping me here. Maybe I could haunt you. If I had to figure out which one of my party members betrayed me like this. You cannot haunt me. Oh. Even if you die here. I did not kill you. It would not be fair. I am not afraid of many things, but... I am afraid of ghost. Weapon would go right through ghost. How do you kill them? They are already dead. I do not like that. It is probably best if you do not die. I could let you out. Should I? Yes. Give me your pitch. Why should I unlock door? I didn't do it. I swear on all my honor, I did not do it. Making a good argument, actually. Ah, but that is the horn. Yep. Time to change shifts. Um, <sighs> and you're a tease. 
At least make it look like you are wearing this, yes? Or I get in trouble. Uh, See you tomorrow, my friend. And you say I can't haunt you, huh? Really? What? So, um, there's that. And, uh, thank you to Ginny D for putting these point of view role plays up. And um, I will admit I'm starting on the fourth one. Um, I have not seen the first one yet. I have watched the second and the third, but did not think to record a response as I had not downloaded OBS at, at that point and had no intention of learning how to record anything with it. But now that I have, I am using it. So if you like this, be sure to uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for any future uploads. And um, aside from that, um, see you next time. Thank you for watching.